Welcome to The Blackout Club. This is a game where you play a teenager sneaking around town at night trying to collect evidence of parents and other adults that are acting very strangely. I think they're aliens, basically, or mind controlled or something. Um, before I go any further, let me just show you some cut together bits of the prologue that really help explain the story. The prologue has a lot of tutorial stuff, which is why I don't want to show the whole thing, but it's also got a lot of nice cutscenes and world building, so enjoy some cut together bits of the prologue and I'll be right back. Okay, recording, I, I think. Hi, out there, it's, it's Bells, I Isabella. If you've done your homework, you probably know I live in the radio quiet zone. We have no cell signal here, no internet, nothing. So no one knows what's happening to us. At night, our town, it, ch it changes. We like wake up in the woods or on train tracks, no idea how we got there. If you tell an adult, they just laugh it off and most folks my age are, well, they're cowards. But so last night, I set up a hidden camera and I finally got proof. Stuff the world needs to see. The video's all on this thumb drive, and tomorrow I'm gonna take Mom's car and sneak it far enough out of town to finally get online. To reach you. When you see this, come to Red Acre. Help us, please. Um, thank you. Sorry, I can't talk on the Isabella, phone. Isabella, it's us. We called to tell yeah, you. she talks to us, huh? We called to tell you we're going to be home late. Why should I care? I'm in jail. Time is meaningless. And whose fault is that? It wasn't trespassing. Mom works up there. Despite the fact that they're obvious aliens. Oh, yes. And my alien masters are telling me to order another drink. Waiter! You're lucky she didn't get fired for what you did. What? Let's just go to... You guys are breaking up. I'm breaking up? That's... Your mother and I are fine. Yeah. You are the lonely one. But not for long. You're about to meet someone as special as you are. Just close your eyes, and you'll see. Uh-huh, sure. Just drink up, come home, and hide the car keys in the same place as always. Come on. Record. Okay. It's still. <gasps> hide, I gotta hide. C closet, bathroom, something with a door. Hello? Bluebell, what's happening? Someone's in the house. Baby, I can't hear you. Speak up, okay? Someone's in the- ah!
gone. What? This, this is my house? They're recording me. Okay, Mr. Voice in my head. We need to talk. I'm guessing that super fun, not at all traumatizing blackout dream means you're still here, listening. And you need me to think aloud, right? I hope whispering counts. Here goes. First, thanks for the warning. I'm guessing you saw him coming. You seem to know a lot that I don't. I mean, am I like possessed? I know when I black out, you, you suddenly uh, take the wheel. So why do you need me at all right now? Is possession on a spectrum? How far down does this go? A sleeper, right? So it's blind, but it can probably hear me right now. Questions. It's kind of my signature move, and maybe you hate it, but if so, honestly, kiss my entire ass. It's my body, and I need to know where it's been. You left me a present? How have you been down here? Wait, does that mean that I've been down here before? was lost when it took her. When they took her. And even if she's still alive... She is alive, and when we find her, she'll be so touched by your black armband, Gwen. I'm saying she'd want us to get proof of our own. Video oh. evidence. Bells acted alone because... because we were too scared. This time, we do it together. They can't make us all disappear. Dax, 
I want to find her too. But unless we do more, like expose these guys, it'll just... This, this town hates people without making a sound. Our oh. <laughs> shitty friendship is all we have. Uh, speaking of... Hey, you. Hmm? You get the blackouts too, right? Well, that means you're in. Even though we supposedly investigate monsters and you eat like one. So, while we get more snacks, you pick a mission. That way, if we all die tonight, we'll blame you. Have fun. Don't worry. We'll be back soon. And we're back. I really want to know what happened to Bells, I think is the name of the person we were playing in the prologue. And I also want to know, what is the deal with sound and that kind of music? You know, those huge, I'm not exactly sure what they were, I guess strings, wires, something, that the, the sleepers and the lucids were banging around and making vibrate? Noise and sound is obviously very important, but I don't know why. This game's been in early access for a while. I saw a little bit of it back when it first came out in early access and it looked pretty cool, but like most things that are early access, I just tend to wait until the full release to really get the, the full experience in one go. And well, now it's released, at least by the time you view this video, I think the full version will be released. I have a review code for it, so I have slightly early access to the full version of the game. So this is the full version 1.0. Before I start playing a mission, I want to talk about something that I'm really unsure about with this game. It can be played single player. It says in the description it's for one to four players. However, they seem to really heavily encourage playing with other people. And you play cooperatively, by the way. It's not like deathmatch or anything like that. You all band together. Band of teens trying to collect evidence of whatever the hell's going on. It seems like it's really meant to be a co-op game, but I don't really play games with other people. I would play this with my wife actually, but we don't have another computer powerful enough to play it. So I'm going to be playing this single player. It can be played that way. I just don't know if it's going to be good that way. So <laughs> we'll just have to see. I know it has some randomization in the missions. Being a multiplayer thing, you know, you're meant to just play various matches with other people, probably often random people, unless you have a core group of friends that you play with all the time. So randomization is to keep things fresh, but how is the randomization going to mix well with what I want out of it, which is a narrative focused game? You know, I want to reach a conclusion. I want to understand what those monsters, I guess, are and what happened to bells and just what's going on in this town in general. And I don't know how well the format of this game is going to mix with that. Is there an end to the game? I don't know. But let's find out. So this is our clubhouse. It's actually kind of like the main menu. I actually popped into this clubhouse before I even accessed the menu. And it's pretty cool. There's an exceptionally dirty mirror. We really need to clean that. A couple people hanging out here. You can even go back here where people sleep. Like, we really got a nice setup here. We even have power. I mean, we have lights and TVs and all sorts of stuff. Like, we must have a generator running out here or something. It's got that... That vibe of... It's kind of cartoony and stylized and a bit ridiculous just how resourceful these kids are. But in a way that I really like, it's endearing. I mean, look at the tools we have. Grappling hooks, crossbows, stun guns. That's a sleep tripwire? It looks to me like a grinding wheel. <laughs> and the game is sort of kinda non-violent. Like, you don't shoot people. You don't kill people. Everything is... is temporary. You can, like, non-lethally take down people with tranquilizer darts or avoid them or, like, push them to the ground and hold them there for a bit. But you don't really kill anybody. I don't, I don't think there's any blood as far as I know. Although I do wonder what happens to us when we get taken by the monster into the red door. I can't imagine that's not violent, <laughs> but we don't get to see it. There's also a whole power system? 
there's like a, a deck and you can choose minor and major powers. I just had one skill point to start out with and I went with drone, which sounds super cool. I don't know if it's going to be that useful yet because I only have level one drone. But if you go up in levels, um, this allows you at a small speaker that plays a short noise when you want to cause a distraction. This allows you to gather evidence using your drone. This allows you to shoot tranquilizer darts with it, extend the range of your drones. You can start doing really cool stuff with it, but at level one, I think it's just for scouting out the terrain and just looking. Let's start the first mission. I have not played a mission. I've only played the prologue. So I guess I'm going to host a game and I'll do friends slash invite only and just not invite anyone. I'm certainly not doing a public game. Hell no. So we're doing Hoadley, Hoadley, Hoadley East. At the eastern end of Red Acre's most scenic neighborhood rests Hoadley's Leap. This cliffside overlook was named after the historical suicide of a local pastor, although residents have expressed doubt that it ever happened. Well, we're young, maybe. Oh, we just like hang out here. I think this game's really pretty. I don't really like the character models, but the environments are really beautiful. Mission briefing. Remember, stealth is your friend, adults are not. Parents, teachers, they're brainwashed sleepwalkers. Or they're in on it. Either way is terrible. Don't get caught. They use old school radios to track anything we do wrong. We tap them so you can hear their dispatcher. When in doubt, check your mission goals and stick together. Do well and we'll send you more. Stick together. There is going to be nobody else to stick with. Tonight, sleepwalkers are trying to clean up a crime scene. Why? We need photos before they get it all. Good luck. Yeah, they use old school radios to track anything we do wrong. I know there's a some sort of a sin system. If you commit sins, word gets around and... Something bad happens. I think I think if you commit enough sins, the monster comes out of the red door looking for you. That monster's terrifying. So now we go here. Break in, friend's house, record evidence for HQ. You got it. Goodies. Walk pick. Let's deploy this drone. I want to see how it works. Got a little cave hideout. It's so cool. Sky. Space for up, C for down. What's the range on this thing right now? Pretty far. I think it's getting more distorted as I... Yep. More distorted as I get the further range. I wonder what happens if I max it out. Does it just like fall down and I have to go collect it? Probably. Oh, this is super cool. There's a sleeper over there. So if I just exit, it just comes back? Yeah. Oh, wait, no. <gasps> oh, no, it just stays hovering where it is. So if I enter it again, it's just there still. But I can also recall it. Oh, and I have to wait for it to come back. Where are you going? Did that work? <laughs> it, I see you all now, Red Acre. It did somehow work, but I think it couldn't pass fine to me. <laughs> there we go. That's better. The weapon, or yeah, special weapon or special tool that I chose is the grappling hook, because that seems super cool. That's the door the monster comes out of. But I haven't committed any sins, so the monster shouldn't be coming for me. Game seems to have a pretty cool, cool movement system. You can, you can really grab onto whoa, pretty much anything. A lot of freedom of movement. Oh. So that's a sleeper. They can't see me. They can only hear me. I don't quite know how sensitive their hearing is yet. 
Hoadley's Leap. Oh, what's this? It's shining. Is this evidence? Have you seen me? Keep watch. If you know where this person is or have information of their whereabouts, please contact us. Is that Bells? Bonus evidence recorded. Oh. I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, just... It's really pretty. So, like, I could use that, or... I could just do that. And that's so much cooler. Oh, I want to try something. Can I get up there if I do, like... This? Oh, hell yeah. That is so cool. Hold F to retrieve it. Okay. Oh. Look at them flail around. How do they not trip? They can open doors. Okay. Sleep or report. The song is weak here. Some of her fellows might not hear the call. Yeah, the song is weak here. I don't know why I pressed escape. It's a server system, so the game is not paused, as it says. Um, yeah, the song. Something about song and making music and plucking those strings. But I want to know more. I want to check out that tent, but I might as well go in the house while I'm up here, right? Hmm, that's got to be a distraction if I play that, but I also want to play it just because I want to hear what the guitar sounds like. <laughs> oh. Quiet. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, wow, well, that's a bad start. Whoopsie. So, I think that would be a sin. Oh my god, how did they get up there? They're on the very tippy top of the roof. Hi. Let's go have a look. Oh, there's another sleeper down there. I'll probably be fine, especially if I don't move at all. Wait, is that the sleeper? Did you somehow go from the roof to down here in just like 10 seconds? Uh oh. There's no just, like, knocking him out. You can't, like, get behind him, do a non-lethal takedown, and you're good, and you don't have to worry about him anymore. You can't do that. You can kind of grab him from behind and temporarily restrain them, but just temporarily, and obviously they'll know you're there at that point. Is this evidence? Well, let's go back up there. I wish the sleeper's footsteps weren't damn near silent. I feel like the audio in this game is a little bit funky. Things that feel like they really should have sounds don't. Oh, what is this? Oh, a bandage. I'm actually a little bit hurt, but maybe not hurt enough to justify using it. Oh, I got a flashlight. Is that evidence of something? Well, this is evidence of needing to put their laundry away. To get everything? Yeah, just those two rooms.
Oh yeah. It just occurred to me I don't need to worry about the flashlight with the sleepers. They can't see. Not a typical thing in stealth games. Usually you always have to worry about the flashlight. Rosy reds. And I could just turn the light too. No reason not to. Magazine added inventory? What do I do with that? Is it a key item? Yeah, a magazine for readers who like the pictures. How is that a key item? What do I do with it? Maybe I'll need it for something later. What the hell is this? <laughs> oh yeah, and isn't this town called Chorus? I mean, even the town's name is all about music and sound. Uh, I don't know if I want to go down there. Let's finish the house first. Oh, shit, that made noise. Uh-oh. They're going for the garage. We're good. I'm gonna go down. Nope. Right now the ladder system, there's actually an option for how the ladders work. Yeah, by default it's set to look based climbing movement, so if you look up and press up, you'll go up. If you look down and press up, you'll go down. That's already awkward, so I'm going to turn it to just up is always up, down is always down. I think I'm getting through here. I wonder if I can open that from somewhere. Entering maze connection. Damn. Loud enough that they heard me up there. Oh god. Where'd they go? They can use ladders? Where did they go, though? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Oh, no. Jesus. So where do I need to go? Show me the way, footsteps. This way? Oh, it's evidence. Flashlight plus record? I want this thing to go through the window, but that's not possible. <laughs> nope. Is there an open window anywhere? Maybe I should just open the door and go in. Look at it just hanging out there. That's so cool. Ah, oh, it 
it's locked. You can kick it in. Looks like that's a sin based on that little like devil symbol. But I might as well just find another door, right? Come back, buddy. Yeah, let me uh, do the same thing I did before. Get up to a higher floor. If that's possible. Whoa, there's a camera up there. A huge, much bigger version of my drone. Maybe this will work? Uh. Yeah. What the hell is that? Looks like a bunch of rockets. Yeah, that's right. We got cameras too. Not enough snacks. Yeah, the currency system in the game is snacks, which is super cute. Oh yeah, it's a bunch of bottle rockets. I think that's like a resupply thing. If you have enough snacks, you can shoot that out and somebody will like shoot you back supplies. Is that a stack of TVs up there? are very weird speakers I don't think I'm gonna get inside the house on the roof there's no second floor unfortunately Maybe I'll just pop out the back and see if there's a back door that's open. Oh, there's a deck. Oh, heck yeah. That's evidence too. Doors been kicked in. Uh-oh, somebody's here. I think they heard me. hear my drone? Like, if I bump into them, does that do a bad thing? Oh, shit. Oh, if you touch them, it goes down and you have to grab it. Okay. Sorry, drone. I didn't know. So this is the crime scene. These dirty footprints. Go in the basement. Another way down. Wow, oh, this way's closed too. Cleaning up the footprints, aren't they? Wait, what I need is over this way. Oh no. Where? Close the door. Uh, I don't think it closes anymore. Yeah, wait, what? 
Which way are those leading? Out back? I already got the door. Get down. A sound. Let's just go upstairs. Or so much over here. Wherever this goes. Teletimes. Oh, here we go. Creepy enough? Blue screen? What does it say? K71.sys? I don't know what that file's for. It's a IETEL. Not an Intel, an IETEL. Sol run? Oh, nice fox. Ah, foam grenade. Can drop down long distances and it won't hurt me. Can silence my footsteps. Oh, here we go. Oh, no. Interesting. Uh, got it. They didn't hear that. Go to exit point. So that's all I have to do, but there is that optional stuff. Marked by crosshairs. Over there. Everyone awake must exit together. That's no problem. There's only one person. Yeah, so I can imagine with other players, this would be very chaotic and exciting. Just everybody at the same time trying to avoid people. I could just imagine the voice chat. Oh, fucking hell. I really wish I could hear their footsteps. They're so quiet. Why hide from the love of a god? So I could just go into random houses looking for extra evidence, but I don't think I will. Unless I see something super obvious. No team multiplier. Dang. Junior investigator. 43 snacks. Couple bonus evidences. Team Marshall. So where does that leave me? You were dreaming. Do you wish to remember? Uh, yes? Give me the strength to rebel against these things that are brainwashed to attack. My sweet, wonderful boy. You assume that you can't already do anything you want. These boundaries are self imposed. But I can show you how to break them. All you have to do is keep praying. Okay, I don't know what the hell that is, but I have an idea. Uh, I'll talk about it in a second. PowerPoint earned, yes. New mission available. Cool. So, this game has some weird audio features that I've never seen before. 
there's actually an option for enhanced horror allows voice recording. So I have it on. They're pretty vague, probably because of the spoilers about exactly what this does. But basically, the game is listening to my voice right now. What exactly it's doing with that, I don't know, but I know this thing requires you to use your voice, offer tribute. And what I heard when I remembered there sounded, it didn't sound like a professional recording, you know? I, I think that was just somebody in their microphone, just talking. So maybe they offered a tribute and you get like random tributes when you remember. I don't know. Uh, it says, let a voice take over your body permanently. Start over. I don't want to start over though, so <laughs> let's not do that. Oh, hey, can I launch my drone here? Oh, I can't. Do you Should think I go it's the apocalypse? Yeah, is that why they built all this? And what's the big ass music box for? The Four Horsemen's theme song? I want a different weapon? Crossbow, grappling hook, or stun gun? No, I like the grappling hook. It's cool. I might have enough snacks to customize my appearance in some way. I can see the drone on my back. That's cool. There's like a weird snack economy. And you can buy character customization stuff and even, even emotes. Which really aren't very relevant when I'm not playing with other people. But I have very few snacks. Yeah, these are like 800 just for new hair, and I have what, like... I have 43. No, I can't get anything. Do I want another power? Major powers are things that you actively use. Minor powers are just like general buffs that are always active. Next level of drone costs two, so I can't get that. But I could probably get a minor power. You can sprint while carrying a human body on your shoulder with no movement penalty. Hmm. Stamina is used for things like sprinting, climbing, or mantling faster and rushing certain skills like lock picking and hacking. Your max stamina is decreased anytime you take a wound. Oh, I was reading the description of just how stamina works in general. 10% more max stamina. Hmm. Start the mission with a bandage. Ooh, that's good. Start the mission with an energy bar. Start the mission with a lockpick. Can't get this, but sometimes when you pick up an item from a supply chest, you'll find a second one. Let's go with bandage. Do we have any new stuff in our journal? Nope, just the one about Belle's gone missing. Trying to look for her, trying to figure out what happened to her. So new mission available. But it's the same region. Is it a different mission in the same region? I see there's a couple things here that look like they can be unlocked, but I don't know how to do that. Maybe that's like level 4, level 12? I'm not sure. Let's just see what happens. Mom, before I lose my nerve. I assume it's not going to be the same mission. Maybe it's just a randomly generated one? Oh yeah, that's right, you can lean. Not that it's relevant for just the sleepers. It's time to actually solve a mystery together, or at least snoop around and say, Aha! We have club members missing, crime scenes... Chorus is trying to scrub away, and sleepers acting out some kind of weird code. Evidence is everywhere, we just gotta find it. Okay, that sounds so, different. Now we go... here. Different starting point, too. Yeah, this is where we ended the last mission. Noisemakers. Two of them.
Oh. It's like the red door, but it's a red hatch. I think that's what happens when you, like, step on the door. I went up to a red door in the prologue and it did the same thing. I don't know what that actually does, though. That's evidence. Okay. File that away. More evidence. Burying stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so this is different. Like, this is the same place, but... This is locked now instead of broken. This is open. Oh! Oh, oh well. How about... Actually, I don't know if I want to throw this. If I throw it, it'll attract them, but it might attract everybody outside, too. Uh, I don't know. Let's let's just try it out. I think the evidence must be deeper in the house, unfortunately. Wasn't fast enough. So let's grab him. There we go. That's right. How do you like me now? So now I just have a bit of time? Like I can leave him pinned like this? Or let him go and I have a bit of time before they'll get up again? See how you like it. I don't know how long I have exactly. Let's pin you again. How's it feel, shithead? Yeah, shithead. Let's get our evidence and let's go. I don't I don't think it's down here. But let's check, maybe oh, it's not locked anymore. There's ones wearing full uniform. I think they're still just normal sleepers. Like, functionally, but they look different down here. I've seen this before. Dreams, but... Not mine. Oh. Oh, no. <sighs> I didn't know it could look up further and further and further. Hey, wait a minute. What's here? comes out in some random house. I want to go down here, though. Quiet. <gasps> Here's a joke at his expense. No one will tell him. Oh, there's a lot of them. Oh, it's actually pointing up here. Does this go where I need to go for the evidence? Oh yeah, we're back to this house, aren't we? Well yeah, let's finish up here then. Blue screen, some things just don't change. Ah, oh, bandage. Ah, here we go. Stolen phone. Okay, what's next? 
It's in that red chest. It's pointing down there, so I think that one's underground. Let's go back down. Holy shit, this one got up here. Yeah, it's down here. Or, wait a minute, there's a bunch of other marks too, further away. Is it just in one of those and we're not sure which one? Was well, a so perfect good. use My of the drone. Cool. I'll actually respect you more. <laughs> Does the camera see the drone? Nope. It's all foggy down here. The mark for the red chest doesn't show up in the drone, does it? Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. Can I get fancy? Maybe. Will it stick to that? It will. Eh. There we go. Oh, what? It lied to me. It said it would hit, but then, <laughs> then it did that. Okay. Dragged? No, no. Okay. Oh. Yeah, so I'm dead. <laughs> Mission failed. At least I got some snacks. Let's try that again. So you can't really outrun them. They actually caught up to me. They're tougher than I thought. New message from the club. All right, let me. I assume the mission is going to be the same as it was last time. So let me get back to about where I was before. Okay, made it back down here. I want to just like shoot that camera. There might be a way to disable it if I had like the crossbow or something. I could probably fall onto it, but no. Let's. Uh, do this. I don't want to break my feet. Sleepwalkers built this? How in God's name? Oh no. Oh, thank God. I thought I would go forwards more. Oh. Requires lockpick. Oh no. I could kick it open, but that'd be a sin. It's alright. I haven't sinned yet. Right? Yeah, they all heard that, but they can't get up here. Wait, can they? What was next? This one the club got to say. Quiet. 
Never mind, they can get up. Holy crap. They're much more able to do things than I thought. Head to exit. Everyone awake must exit together. Okay, that was it. What are those other places that were marked on the map then? Just... If I happened to check them first, they wouldn't have had it? I don't know how that works. Oh god. I do have a noisemaker though. Actually, probably be good to throw this down here. Yeah. in the skies here. I have no idea where that thing's going. Shit. No! Alright, forget it. It's on me. It is this way, in that little, like, cave place. Voice acting is really and cute. Investigator. Only seventy-five snacks. My God, you really got to save up a lot of snacks even just to buy a new type of hair. Assuming as we get to more difficult missions, we'll get more snacks. I want those good, good snacks. Do you wish to remember? Yes. As a request, I'd like to be in the mirror all the time. It's less spooky that way. <laughs> Yeah, those are definitely from random people actually speaking into the microphone. Which actually worries me because... There's like no way to really curate that, right? Doesn't that mean there's just gonna end up being a ton of like racist, nasty shit? For now it's been fine though. Hey, how's it going? Anything new here? Nope. Did I get new powers? Power points? No, I'm still level two. I'll probably level up next time. So where are we at in the missions? I guess we just keep doing this and having new missions in the same map? Okay. I'm ready. Let's do it again. <laughs> 